Hello and welcome to Spruce Grove Dodge. My name is Shawnee and today we're going to be taking a walk around this 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited Edition in Granite Crystal Metallic. Underneath the hood she has a 3.6 liter V6 engine putting out 290 horsepower. Daytime running light signal light indicator, some fog lights down there. Legendary Jeep grill of course, some nice chrome badging. Coming around to your front tire, they are Goodyear all-season tires mounted on top of a 20-inch factory Jeep rim. Beautiful color. Chrome mirrors, they are defrosted, and you have your signal light indicator there. Chrome handles, more chrome badging. Very good looking Jeep. As you can see, there's tons of great features on the outside, but let me go grab the keys and I'll show you the inside. Helping you into this beautiful new Jeep is the factory key fob. It has your unlock, lock, your hatch release, and then of course the command start and panic button. To start the vehicle with the command start, just simply ensure the vehicle is locked and push that half circle button twice. Beautiful. This is a proximity key, so you simply just have to have it in your pocket, in your purse, anywhere on your body and just simply walk up to the vehicle and it unlocks and if you'd like to lock it just simply hit that button and it locks it but we want to unlock it because we want to go inside awesome door opens nice and wide memory seater seats for driver one and driver two unlock and lock your power windows that's to lock those back windows power mirrors power driver seat and of course they are in leather some nice stitching, your light options down there, and then some carpet floor mats. Let me hop in, start it up. So it is a push button, so just simply have your foot on the brake and push that button and it starts it up for you. ABS traction control, my, my tire monitoring system, pardon me. Awesome. This vehicle only has 9,999 kilometers, so lots of life left in this beautiful Jeep. But make sure you talk to one of our finance managers about any extended warranties that you may want to purchase, just to ensure that you are fully covered. So we're facing north, it's 22 degrees outside. This screen is actually controlled by these buttons here, so I'll just push those and go through that. So we're at the speedometer. Change it to miles per hour if you'd like. Your um, vehicle info, so oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, um, tire pressure sensors, transmission um, temperature and back to oil temperature. Um, this is where you can select if you want to go into four wheel drive, um, just the road conditions, a bunch of different options there. Your average fuel economy, your trip A and trip B, the audio stations, any stored messages, setup screen and then we're back to the speedometer so like I said I was just pushing these buttons here and below that is your Bluetooth and voice recognition buttons as well as you have some paddle shifting making it extra fun to drive and then your cruise control and audio controls on back of both sides nice big touch screen so you have your AM FM XM radio your USB auxiliary Bluetooth and SD card Heated seat on both sides, and then you have your heated steering wheel, climate controls, your navigation, Bluetooth, of course, and then your settings. So if I just put it into reverse, you'll also have your backup camera with some parking sensors. Very, very awesome. And then just below that, you have your climate controls. Um, if you want to turn those parking sensors off, econo mode and traction control. In this hidden compartment there, you have your auxiliary USB, SD, and a 12-volt plug-in. Gear shifter, as well as some cup holders, and then you can also change um, to four low if you're in snow, sand, auto, mud, rock, hill assist. And then in here you have dual center console, so a little shallower one there, and then you have the deeper one there. Very nice. And then, of course, you have your lockable glove compartment. Lots and lots of room. 
And up here, you have programmable garage doors, and then those are for your sunroof, which I'll show you in a second. That button actually opens up the back hatch, and then you got a beautiful sunroof. Always nice to have. As you can see, lots of great options, but there's still tons more to see, so stick with me and I'll show you the rest. Alrighty, so I got that back door open for ya. A nice cup holder in the side. Carpet floor mats, a little compartment there. And then down here, you have two USB plugins, um, 115 volt plugin, and your heated seats are also back here, which is awesome. Great feature to have. Center here, you have some cup holders. Nice leather seats, very comfortable. And they do fold down just by using this. Nicely fold down. Giving you lots of room if you have to haul anything back there. Nice chrome badging on the back here. Those are your parking sensors. But like I said, you can open the back hatch with the key fob just by pushing that button twice. There is a little button there on the bottom of the handle that you can push as well. Awesome. So you've got your spare tire under there. Some more com um, compartment space if you'd like to use it. And then a nice shade. So if you have anything in there that you don't want anyone seeing, you can hide it with that. Rolls back. And best part, it's powered. So you simply just have to push that button. Yells at you to get out of the way. And it closes all by itself. One of my favorite features ever. Rear windshield wiper and the rear window is defrosted. Has all your safety anchors and child locks that you would need. Another little compartment there on the back. And again, a cup holder on this side as well. Power passenger seat. Still lots of leg room. Another cup holder and compartment on the side door. Very great condition. If you'd like to take this beautiful Jeep for a test drive, just simply click or call. We're down here at 200 St. Matthews Ave. And for Scova, Alberta, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.